IML Research is pleased to announce the release of an exciting new epigenetic product, the Quest 5-HMC DNA ELISA kit. ELISA stands for Enzyme-Linked Immunosorbent Assay. There are many types of ELISA formats, however the Quest 5-HMC DNA ELISA kit is an indirect sandwich-based ELISA format that can be used to detect the antigen of interest, in this case hydroxymethylated DNA. Over the last several decades, the role of methylated DNA, specifically methylated cytosine, referred to as 5-MC, has been well studied in epigenetic regulation. However, the function of hydroxymethylated DNA, referred to as 5-HMC, has yet to be defined. Recently, 5-HMC has been implicated as an intermediate in oxidative demethylation of cytosine and may play a role in cell and tissue differentiation. To date, the highest levels of 5-HMC have been detected in the brain and greater central nervous system. This product is ideal for a number of applications, including global 5-HMC detection, tissue-specific 5-HMC quantitation, high-throughput compound screening such as drug target effect analysis, as well as for the interrogation of the presence of 5-HMC in samples, before region or locus-specific sequencing analysis, which can be more cost-effective in the long run. Another added benefit is that the workflow is so simple. To begin, simply remove the strips of wells that will not be used for the experiment. Next, anti-5-HMC polyclonal antibody is coated to the bottom of the 96-well plate. The plate is then incubated at 37 degrees Celsius for one hour. Any unbound antibody is removed during the wash step. This is done by discarding the liquid and tapping the plate on paper towels. The plate is then blocked using 1x ELISA buffer in order to decrease nonspecific protein interactions. This is done at 37 degrees Celsius for 30 minutes. The blocking buffer is then discarded and single-stranded DNA controls and samples are incubated in the wells for one hour at 37 degrees Celsius. DNA that contains 5-HMC will bind to the anti-5-HMC polyclonal antibody coated to the wells. Any DNA that does not contain 5-HMC will be washed away during a repeated wash step. Wells that contain 5-HMC DNA bound to the polyclonal antibody will then be detected by an anti-DNA horseradish peroxidase conjugated antibody. This is done at 37 degrees Celsius for 30 minutes. Any anti-DNA HRP antibody that did not bind to DNA will be removed during a wash step. Finally, the HRP developer is added. Wells that do not have any bound DNA will not change color and will remain clear. However, wells that contain 5-HMC DNA will appear a greenish blue color. To obtain results, read the absorbance of each well at 400 to 450 nanometers. This can be done as early as 10 minutes after the addition of the HRP developer. The two figures at the top of the page show a typical standard curve that can be generated using the control DNA set that is included with the kit. The set consists of five different genomic DNA controls, each with a specified percentage of 5-HMC content. The standard curve can then be used to quantitate the percent of 5-HMC in unknown samples. The standard curve is easy to construct and is very reproducible. The image below shows the similarity in percent 5-HMC in DNA samples quantified using either the Quest 5-HMC DNA ELISA kit or by mass spectrometry. As you can see, the kit is very useful in obtaining accurate 5-HMC percent levels.